Today marks one year since one of Hawaii's largest and most destructive volcanic eruptions. Kilauea spewed billions of yards of lava in the months that followed. Carter Evans is there tonight to see what's changed. For months, red hot lava exploded and devoured almost 14 square miles on the big island of Hawaii. The massive river of molten rock came from a large fissure in Stacy Welsh's backyard. You're lucky. Very lucky, very lucky this time. This is a giant right. canyon I found in my backyard. She recorded this video as molten rock poured onto her property. Her home survived, but the lava cut right through her community, Leilani and States. When cracks first opened up on highways and roads last year, residents were told to leave. In all, more than 700 homes were destroyed. All of that lava came through in a matter of a couple hours. We were there when it all began. This is the most active fissure right now. We've been watching this one go for days. At times, it's been blasting lava up to 250 feet into the air. And this is what it looks like now, a massive cinder cone surrounded by miles of black. Scientists say the volcano produced more than a billion cubic yards of lava. That's enough to fill up more than 320,000 Olympic-sized swimming pools. The lava hit the ocean with explosive force, and it expanded the coastline, adding nearly 900 acres of new land. At Kilauea's summit, the crater tripled in size, and geologists like Janet Babb are still poring over all the data. You think we'll see lava again? Without a doubt, Kilauea volcano will erupt again. We just don't know when or where. How is that? living here under that threat now. It's beautiful, it's sad. Um, everyone behind me is gone all the way to the ocean. Come on. Mixed emotions as residents here decide if they'll continue to live on the slopes of an active volcano. Carter Evans, CBS News, Pahoa, Hawaii.